next thing I wanted to watch was Josh Strife Hayes figuring out if RuneScape 3 was worth playing. Now, I've never played RuneScape 3. That's why I'm interested in his opinion. I've played old school RuneScape. I've played the original RuneScape. I have never played modern RuneScape. I've not played any of those updated versions. So I'm very interested to see what he has to say on this. Let's see. Are the other RuneScape games worth trying? Would you ever do a worst MMO for it? So I like RuneScape 3. I think there's a lot of charm to it. It's got a lot of character. There are good systems. There are bad systems. It can definitely do with some improvements. But as a game, I think it is a decent game. I think... He just described like 90% of all MMOs out there. Good systems, bad systems could do with improvement. That's... Can, can, is there is there a single MMO that doesn't fit that mold? RuneScape 3 is much better played Iron Man than it is played regular. Um, but that's just me because it makes you explore all of the content. The problem with RuneScape 3, and this is going to sound silly, is there is so much content that when you want to play RuneScape 3, you want to play efficiently. You want to have, you know, everything ready to, to maximize the experience you're going So, wait, is he talking about the... The min-maxing problem. So does RuneScape 3 have like a min-maxing meta problem then? Because games games like that always end up with like this very in-group who's very against experimentation and figuring out new shit. Going to gain over a period of time. But there so it's are got a meta so problem. many systems in RuneScape really? 3 so from this that nightmare. you need to have active at the same time. No, she's having fun. That it? It's overwhelming to do and you will never achieve all of them and so you tend to not want to train anything because you're not being efficient because you have so many systems you need to activate at the same time. It's... You have to kind of accept... So it's overwhelming. ...that RuneScape 3 will never be played efficiently. It's, it's impossible to play it efficiently. There is too much stuff. Yeah, there is so much to do in RuneScape 3 that you log in, you see it, and you log out. Because it's overwhelming. And that's a... You never want the player to feel overwhelmed. You want hmm. them I don't know. Guild Wars 2 had me feeling pretty overwhelmed. But not in a bad way. It was obviously like this is a complex game and there was a lot of interesting stuff that I had to learn about. So I don't know about that. If it's if it's overwhelming in a bad way, then I get what he means. To know they have a lot to do, but you don't want them to feel like they have to do a lot. Kind of got the issue with ESO, yeah. You want the player to be well. Aha, okay, that's the difference. So Guild Wars 2 has a lot of stuff you can do, but you don't have to do it. So that might be the difference. You don't want them to be underwhelmed or overwhelmed. You want them to log into a game and think, yes, this is exactly what I expected and exactly what I wanted. This is whelming. That's good. Well Same thing as Retail WoW. Yeah, it's, it's very overwhelming. RuneScape 3 is an interesting game. The only way to win is not to play. Good, good reference there to war games. If you are very deeply enfranchised in an MMORPG and I say, oh, your game is overwhelming, and you often say to me, no, it's not. You just need to do this, 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 this. People, people get fucking mad. Whenever you have a, a like, the MMO community actually has this big problem where, um, like, a streamer or YouTuber or anyone will actually say something about their game that they love. And someone else will be like, yeah, no, it's not, it's not like, um, I don't like this system. And then they're like, take it as a personal offense because they're too attached to the game. The game has become more than a game. It's become like a personality trait for them. So like, he'll say that RuneScape 3 is overwhelming and someone will probably come into his chat or there'll be someone here in the comments below that'll say something like, that's bullshit. It's not overwhelming. RuneScape 3 is the best game ever. And they're like, take it like, like he just told them that they've got the fattest, ugliest mother on the planet because they're too attached emotionally to the game to understand that people have different preferences. If someone tells me that they really enjoy, I, I don't know, fucking, I'm trying to think of a food, but I'm fat, so I eat everything. Salad, there you go. If someone tells me they enjoy salad, I'm not mad at them for enjoying salad when I don't. If I tell them, hey, I don't enjoy salad, that doesn't work. Fuck, vegans exist. 
vegans get mad at you if you tell them you don't enjoy salad. Oh, well, fuck it. I've lost the analogy. I've lost this one. It's this, 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 and this, and it's easy. This is what I ask people to do. Go and play an MMORPG that you have never played and see how long it takes until you get overwhelmed or feel that the opening experience is not very good. And then please understand that is what new players feel about your game. That's exactly what it is. I mean, I like Adventure yeah. Quest, but when I yeah, walk right. into Adventure Quest, the opening screen does not feel new player friendly at all. It's almost like the opening screen assumes that you are returning to the game after several years, or you've been playing it for absolutely ages and know exactly what to do. I don't even know where to go in Adventure Quest Classic. It's not very well laid out at all. <laughs> I've never Although played like Adventure game, Quest. It's just, oh, it's very awkward to play. Man, he goes into such esoteric games. He goes into such odd places with the MMO space. I'm kind of jealous at his knowledge base of the MMO space. As soon as the game tries to install spyware anti-cheat, just, uh, yeah, don't. I know you talked about Lost Ark a year ago when it got released, but did your opinion change? Not even played it. Didn't even want to. <laughs> no desire to whatsoever. He still hasn't played Lost Ark. I don't even fucking blame him. Uh, it's because people kept on harassing him. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. So... I don't know. That sounds like a RuneScape th RS3 is basically just a very complex kind of game, but in all the wrong ways based on what he said there.